Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. For today's video, I'm going to share my sticker haul with you. I picked up a few things from a shop called Paper Crown Planner. It's a printable sticker shop and um, she had a 50% off sale. So I got all of these um, wonderful kits here for only um, $35 Canadian. So um, I couldn't resist um, that kind of sale and I stocked up on quite a few kits here. Um, I bought 12 kits in total and um, I'm going to quickly share um, the kits that I got with you. So let's get started. So I'm gonna move the kits off to the side first and then bring them in one by one. So one of the great things about having printable kits is the fact that you can print them out yourself. So I have a silhouette and printing out um, stickers um, is just easier for me because um, I don't have to wait, I don't have to pay for shipping. I especially find that shipping is taking a lot longer during the lockdown for whatever reason. So um, even though I may be buying kits that are a little bit local or just like in the US, um, for whatever reason it takes like two to three weeks to reach me. Um, whereas if I buy printable kits, I can print them out. They're kind of like instant gratification and I don't have to worry about having it lost in the mail. Another great thing about printables is the fact that um, you can have the entire kit and you can print out what you want. Um, for me, I like really full kits, so deluxe kits. And um, with her particular kits, you do get quite a lot of pages. So um, I like to work with full kits so that I can um, use them for multiple weeks and that allows me to get the most out of each kit. So this kit um, is not the entire kit. Um, there is a lot more, but I printed out the ones that I thought I would use the most. I do purchase printable kits from other places. Um, Paper Crown Planner is one of them and Print Petticoat Bandit is the other. And Paper Crown Planner is um, a shop that I really like because of her clean look. So she has more cleaner boxes and I really like that about her style. So this first kit is called Hello Summer and I really like the full boxes of this one. I really enjoy hot pink and orange together for this summer. Um, orange is not a color that I like often in my planner, especially in fall kits for whatever reason. I just don't really like fall orange kits. Um, but I do like it in combination with hot pink for the summer. So this is what her full boxes look like. You do have some flags as well as some quarter boxes over here. Then you have the heart checklist and your icons. She gives you a couple more boxes here and I like this one because it has a little paper clip bow. Um, you do get the sidebar as well as the full box and some more quarter boxes. Um, another thing to note about her kits are the fact that she uses really cute script with her kits. So they're one of my favorite things about her kits. So I really like the bottom washi of this kit as well. It's something a little bit different and I like the um, green that's um, scattered throughout this kit. You do have some littles as well, as well as the canceled and nope and then some circular icons here. Now on this page you have a bunch of the icons here on the side, all your headers. You do have some bill due stickers, a couple of weekly trackers, and then you do have two rows of your half boxes. So she has one row that has the decorative clip art on it and then one that's plain which I really like. The next page has your date dots and date covers as well as washi. She also gives you some water trackers and more icons. And then you also have the full box heart checklist as well as another weekly sidebar and some more quarter boxes. This is one of the great things about printable kits is that you can have a lot of boxes. So this whole entire page here is glitter headers and boxes. She also gives you some glitter page flags here. And then I really like this one because she gives you some more um, options for the 
full boxes in different um, skin tones. Um, these are my favorite parts of her kit. She gives you these headers with the bows on them. You have some Etsy quarter boxes here as well as the work ones which I use often. Some longer flags and more deco. So as you can see you do get quite a lot in her kits. Like I mentioned there are more um, that she provides but I just printed out what I needed and if I ever feel like I need um, more of one sheet I don't need to wait um, an order from a shop because I already have the file I can just print it out again. So that one is Hello Summer. This next kit is one of my favorites and it's called Pink Lemonade. I really like the lemon theme throughout this entire thing. It's so cute. So this sheet is full of the full boxes and you do have these really small um, quarter boxes here. It has a dainty bow on it. It's so cute. That's one of my favorite things about her kits. Um, this is the washi. It has really cute lemons on them. You do have your date covers here as well. And then you do have your full boxes. And then you have your littles and functional boxes as well. I like the fact that she gives you two weekly sidebars as well because I use them for two different weeks and then I also like the fact that she also has script on her headers and then in this particular kit she has kind of like these color swatches and then inside it, they do have different icons so you have a workout one, a cleaning one, an alarm clock, um, you have a celebration one so there's quite a lot that you can work with in addition to these um, type of icons as well so that's really nice that she um, provides that in her kits. Um, you do have some more full boxes and deco and in this one she also gives you um, a weigh-in box as well as flight boxes so that's handy to have and then this is one of my favorite pages in the kit. She gives you a couple of these kind of scalloped headers or washi and then she provides these cute washi and paper clip boxes as well. One of my other favorite things about this one is she has a section here called book of the week. Um, since I'm an author and a book reviewer and book blogger I find that so helpful. Um, I read more than one book a week but it's just handy to have that in, provided in a kit. And then this sheet has the different skin tones of the girl. Um, this one is a bit of a longer full box here. And then you do get the extra washi. So this one is definitely my favorite. These are, are the summer kits that I picked up to use now. I did pick up another one that's along the same tones and this one is called Summer Vibes. I really love the artwork of this one. It's so cute. Um, I really like this full box in particular and the girl's really cute as well. So it's the same kind of layout here. Um, this washi is to die for. It's absolutely adorable. I love the little peaches there. So this colorway is definitely right up my alley. It's definitely the tones that I love um, for the summertime. So I'm definitely excited to use these in my planner next. So you can definitely use these kits for more than one week. She does give you quite a lot of the checklist as well. And you can always print out more half boxes if you need to, as well as the littles because I find that this sheet I go through pretty quickly. Again, these bow headers are my favorites. And then this is my favorite page of the entire kit. So she does give you a couple of different options for the full boxes in this kit. You have the different skin tones up here as well as some variations of the other clip art. Um, and then you have them in the deco form. And then she gives you these larger, they're slightly longer than a full box. So if you want to see they're about one and a half, I would say. 
And again, you do have them in the different skin tones. So this next kit is one that I couldn't resist. Um, this one is called Bibliophile, and as you know, I'm an author, I'm a book reviewer, and a blogger, so this was quite fitting for me, I felt like. So this is a kit that I would probably use more in September or in the fall time. I'm not really into fall kits that are orange, so I typically go for these kind of tones, which are a little bit more neutral. So these are the full boxes. I really love the library, and she even has a journal, like a book journal and um, a planner there and then you have your deco these are really interesting i like that she add she added these into the kit i haven't seen that before and then you have all your icons here again with the little check boxes the three heart check boxes here and then my favorite pages of each kit And then you have your heart checklists and your headers. And this one, she does have the cute flat lace. So you have one that's, if you're sick, um, a study one, a cleaning one, a working one, a cooking one, and a journaling one. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's a Hobonichi Weeks, which I also have, so that's great. And then she also has some scripts here on the side. So the bottom washi of this one is really beautiful. I don't know if you can see, but this has little words here. So I just think that it ties in the whole book theme really well. Of course, you do have your functional with your checklist and your half boxes as well. So that is the Bibliophile kit. Next up, I have the City Life kit, and this is definitely one of my favorites. I love the tones. The lilacs and grays are definitely my favorites, and I love the pop of white and black in it. So these half boxes are also beautiful. I think these two are my favorites here, but they're all really pretty. You do have your full box checklist here. I really like the spots. Your littles. And then again, with these kind of paper clip boxes that I love. We have some more variations of the half boxes and the deco. And then you have your headers and your boxes as well. And then here are your date covers. And my favorite parts of this entire kit has to be the bottom washi. I love this city skyline. It's so beautiful. And I think I will have to be printing out more of these because I just love the bottom washi. So this is definitely one of my favorite kits, if not my favorite, of all the ones that I picked up. These are definitely my type of colors. Again, I think I might save this for September or during the fall because I think the gray would match really well for that. So I'm excited to pick that up. This next one is called Refresh, and um, if you are a big Instagrammer, I feel like this kind of has that vibe, but I also find that this kit is also good for any time, so um, it does have a little bit of a spring and summer vibe to it, but um, just for those weeks where you don't really have much going on, but you still want something cute, I think this Refresh kit is a really good pick. I really like this half box as well as this one with the croissant and the camera. And then she also gives you more full boxes on this page with the deco. Again, you do have this um, special box here with a little bow. Kind of looks like a little notepad. And then you do have your flat lays, your extra washi and scripts, as well as some appointment labels. Here's another sheet of functional boxes and headers and uh, more of my favorites. And I really like that she put in the pop of black there because it makes it stand out a lot. And this is what the bottom washi looks like. She did a good job with matching the colors with the date covers really well, I like that. And then you do have your full boxes, of course. Your deco. 
and icons and then your headers and checklists. So this one is definitely another favorite. It's a good anytime kind of kit, but also good for springtime. I know this one's a popular one in her shop and it's called But First Coffee. Um, I really like the neutral tones. I don't usually like marble in my planner, but for whatever reason, this works really well. I think it's because of the kind of coffee color here that makes it um, look less cold. So these are all the full boxes and she gives you the various skin tones as well, which is always important. Here you have more of the boxes and washi as well as your date covers and icons. You also have your headers and your boxes down here with your weekly trackers. So for her heart checklist this time, she used a marble background. And then this is what her littles looks like. I really like that she chose this kind of creamier um, beige color. I think it matches really well with the rest of the kits. And it'll be a nice contrast against this darker brown color. And then again, this is the washi. I absolutely love this washi. I wish that I had like some paper, digital paper of just this, so I can put it in my planner. But yeah, so this is the But First Coffee. Again, another any time, any week kind of kit. Um, it's good to have this kind of kit handy um, just for when you don't really know what you have going on, but you want to plan your week. This is definitely a go-to for me. Um, this is great for weeks when you're a little bit overworked and you need some um, TLC. So this kit is called the Self Care Kit. I just love the colors and tones of this kit. So relaxing and but also bright at the same time. So she kind of fuses together um, quite a lot of lavender, um, pink, blue, and green. So these are what the full boxes look like. I absolutely love the clip art that she used for this one. It just looks so beautiful. I love the greenery and the monstera leaf over there. And this is what the bottom washi looks like. Very chic and very clean looking. And then she does have the pink full boxes in this kit. And then again the monstera leaf pattern is very prevalent in this. And then you do have the flat lays again. And I love this green color. I'm not usually a green person, but this works for me. I think it's because it's a little bit more toned down. And then of course, um, I love the lilac tones because lilac is my favorite color. So again, this is perfect for those weeks when you need to kind of recharge and um, just give yourself a little bit of self-care. Now this next kit is a little bit different for me because um, it's quite dark. But um, I don't know, I just really, really like this kit. So this one is called Forest Nymph. And the reason why I picked this one up is because it has kind of like a mystical vibe to it. Um, I really like the colors of this. And I thought that I might use it. Um, in October when it's like a little bit more Halloween-y. Um, I don't really buy Halloween kits um, just because I don't really like orange or like having bats or anything like that in my planner. I prefer more girly things. So I thought that this was a little bit um, festive without being too um, Halloween-y. So you do get the darker tone full boxes here, which I absolutely love. Um, this is what the washi looks like. I love the florals in it. And then you do get the whole sheet of headers and checklists. Here are your icons, your full boxes for your checklists, as well as your littles and half boxes more of the half boxes and headers and 
I think this is where you can kind of see more of like the mystical vibe. Um, she has a flower crown and inside she does have little horns. So she kind of has like a fairy vibe to her, which makes me think of like Halloween a little bit. But you can also use this kit for St. Patrick's Day, um, which kind of has that magical vibe, but without being too like leprechaun-y and rainbows. So I really like the whimsical vibe of this kit. So again, something a little bit different and out of my comfort zone, but I think it's just going to be fun for those um, different holidays. So now we're moving into the more girly type of kits that I picked up. So this one is called Rosie. It does have a little bit of a Valentine's kind of feel to it, but I think you can easily use this for anniversaries um, or a birthday or any kind of thing like that. It just has the beautiful um, fashion items as well as the florals, which you know I already love. So again, the bottom washi is gorgeous with these roses. I just love the glitter that she infuses with this kit. And she also has the little glitter outline, which I think adds something a little bit different to the kit because the other ones don't have that. All her kits do come with a weekend banner as well. So like I said, the full box here does have the glitter outline, which I absolutely love. And then you do get the littles as well. So that kit is called Rosie. Now I'm down to my last two kits here. And these two are Valentine's kits and I picked these up for next year. But I felt like um, some of these full boxes um, you can use for like any time. So this one is called XO. And I really like the red in this kit. Now I don't usually use red in my kits or in my planner at all, but that's the color that I'm kind of introducing a little bit more. So I like the combination of the black, red, and pink in this kit. So that is what the full box looks like. You do have a couple of more options over here with the kind of notepad boxes as well. You have the darker headers in this kit paired with the more lighter checklists. These are what your icons look like. And your little flat lays, washi, and script. She went a little bit more plain on the half boxes and the littles here, but I love what she did here with the washi. These little cookies are adorable. And then it says XOXO here on the bottom washi. And then this is what the full bottom washi looks like with the script um, date covers. Really beautiful. And then of course you have your full box checklist. So this is the XO kit. Definitely more Valentine's Day. Um, and then this one here is called Valentine's. So this one actually does say February 14th. So um, I, I would definitely save those two for um, Valentine's Day. But for the other ones, you definitely can use any time um, for anniversaries. So that's what the full box looks like. I really like this little doily heart. And this one has more pinky tones. They're a little bit more peachy. I find that these icons match every single kit. She did a really good job with those. And then you do have the kind of wood grain effect here with the florals. I really like this section as well with the pink hearts. Your checklist as well. More florals and bows. She has little heart-shaped macarons here, which are adorable. And then you have your little flat lays and washies, your littles and half boxes, and then your deco. This girl has a gorgeous dress on. Yeah, 
and that's it. So that is the Valentine's Day kit. And this is not supposed to be here. This is actually a Happy Planner kit and it's from Uncommon Plans. But I printed out because I needed more half boxes. So like I mentioned, if you ever need another sheet, you can just easily print it out with printable kits. So, so those are all the kits that I picked up from Paper Crown Planner. I would definitely check out her kits. Um, they are really great, really full kits, and you get quite a lot of um, stickers when you print them out. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe. Let me know which one is your favorite kit that I picked up in the comments box below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!